Happy birthday, dear Alan and Stephen. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Alan and Steve Farley were not only identical twins, they were best friends. Back in March, Alan contracted COVID-19 and was placed into an induced coma. Four weeks later, he came round and a doctor told him there was some bad news. He came in and said to me, remember me telling you that you're going to have some good times and uh, you're going to have some really bad times. And he said, unfortunately, today is a really bad time. Um, because we had Steve in here and unfortunately he didn't make it. And because I was like uh, um, still under the influence of all the, all the drugs and what have you, I couldn't make any tell what he was trying to tell me. But then I put two and two together. Um, I was just absolutely devastated, you know, and because um, we were very close. Alan had no idea his brother had been in the same hospital at the same time being treated for the same disease and he was not able to attend the funeral. They were only allowed 10 people there, so it just seemed really, really um, surreal, really, because uh, one minute you're told that he's gone, and two days later is the funeral. Uh, but he actually died on the uh, 5th of April. But I didn't come back until uh, sort of like the middle of April, really. What he's left with are precious memories of growing up alongside his twin. Because we were identical, uh, we went to school with a white shirt on with a pocket. My mum would sew in an A for me and an S for him, you know, so they could tell the difference. I remember when I was uh, about nine or ten, I had this girlfriend, and I shouldn't really say this, but, but I, got, uh, I got my brother to, uh, to turn around and tell her that I didn't want to see her anymore. And I thought oh, I couldn't do it, so I got him to do it. <laughs> This was the moment Alan left hospital, one of the first of 250 COVID patients to have been successfully treated at Derriford. He faces a long journey back to full fitness and he will do it all without his partner in crime. I, I don't understand why it would be me that would survive and my brother didn't, you know. I was very, very lucky, really. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Plymouth.